Okay, I want to talk to you about the uh, electronic dog collar put out by Tritronics. This is the uh, the Feel 90. Uh, what this does, it acts sort of like uh, like the uh, electronic fences uh, that you have for your dogs. This has the uh, prongs uh, on the top, or actually underneath, that would give the dog a, a shock if he failed to obey your command. Uh, let me first show you, uh, we were using the traditional leash. <coughs> They had hooked up just directly to his collar, and when you're trying to, uh, to walk a dog or train him, if this dog is, takes off after a cat or a car or another human being, this animal has such a pull, he can cause a back injury or shoulder injury. So most people would jump over to what is known as the, the choke chain. The uh, choke chain, if you can see, has the uh, prongs with the rubber tips, uh, and it attaches to <clears throat> the leash by itself, and when you're trying to uh, give him any commands, sit, stay, you tighten up on it like that and the prongs actually go into his neck. But then again, it's still, uh, these animals are very strong and um, you're still more out for a back injury or a shoulder injury. Easy. So like I said, we switched over to the uh, sit, to the electronic dog collar. Uh, it's just like a regular dog collar. Uh, it's real lightweight and easy to use. It's comfortable for the dog. Uh, it comes with a remote that's good up to one mile. And I'll talk to you a little bit about the remote. Uh, the remote, first of all, it has a button on top that gives a tone which humans can hear as well as the dog can hear. And usually that's all you have to do for him to you know, act on a voice command. Uh, it has six buttons on top that gives a different strength. Uh, number six being the most, which is basically like the old timey stun guns that the police used to use. Which I, you know, stunned myself. It's really, you know, no big deal, but it, it doesn't feel very well. So a dog for Jesse size would be about number three. It has two buttons. The black button is for a five-second shock, which will, you know, pretty much stop him immediately uh, if he still want to obey. Uh, the red button is for just a continuous shock. Uh, if you want to keep him off, like if he's jumping up on a door or continuously barking, or like I said, takes off after another human being or a car or runs after a cat when you're trying to walk him. Uh, this is good. Uh, the range is up to one mile and it runs $349. It's called a Phil 90. It can be bought in any um, uh, store that sells hunting supplies. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is uh, very humane for the dog. You don't want to use it as punishment. Uh, just to you know, teach him to, because it's called a dog trainer. You just want to you know, train him to obey your voice command. And, uh, I think Jesse's only been, you know, I had to shock him maybe uh, twice, once for running after a car, once for jumping up on the back door when we were trying to break him from that. And uh, like I said, you don't want to use it for punishment, uh, but it is uh, a really good because he can be, I was, Jesse, come here. If he doesn't come, I just, you know, push the top button, give him a little tone, you know, he, he obeys, sit. She used it, it didn't do too well with sit. But uh, anyway, I highly recommend it. It's the, uh, the Phil 90 uh, electronic uh, Tritronics. Good boy.